Hi, welcome to Facebook Live at the Washington Post. Today we have some fabulous ideas for gifts for hosts and hostesses as you go to parties this holiday season. We have two women here from Secretly Gifting, a gift concierge service in Washington, and we have Candace and Ashley who are going to go through 15 gifts, and most of them are under $30, so let's go. Tell me about this gift and why this is a great hostess okay. gift. So, first of all, these are all letter-pressed coasters from Oat Papier, which is a local business here in D.C. Um, what's great about these is there's a bunch of different uh, wintry designs. Um, and the best part is that all you have to do is bring the gift because it already has a ribbon wrapped around it. So it's a very easy gift. It's an easy gift. And how, gift. how many are in there? Like 100? 100, 100 coasters. And it's, it's under $30. Under $30. And it's really a good gift because as we said, the other thing you could do is you could, if you were you know, feeling low on funds, you could repackage it as sure. four gifts, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. 25 coasters is not a bad thing. Right. No, that's a great gift. And do you like to wrap your own gifts, or do you think people should, you know, just throw a ribbon around something? Do you need gift wrap? I think it depends. It depends, I think, on the, on the shape of the gift, mm -hmm. how it already comes presented. I mean, this is already beautifully presented, which is super nice because it I is. know we're, we're, for, when we're in a rush and we scrambling. are scrambling, it's nice to just take this and go. Um, but if you wanted to repackage the coasters into separate yeah. gifts, then you could take a set, wrap some ribbon around it, or put them in a little box, wrap some ribbon around it, slap on a gift tag, and you're good to, you're go. Good to go. And the other good thing is that these are wintry. They're not necessarily Christmas, right? Sure. And they also have lots of other patterns, too. So if you want something super specific, if you want cocktails or, you know, just Christmas, they have yeah. lots of different okay. designs. Okay. So. Sounds good. Now, do you think bringing plants is a good idea as a hostess gift? Because sometimes they say don't bring flowers, right? But well, tell us about this gift. Um, I think it depends on the plant. Mm -hmm. So when you're going to somebody's party, things are kind of hectic. And I find that it's a little overwhelming when somebody brings me a bouquet of flowers. It is, say. yes. I'm searching for a vase. It's getting lost in the mix. And I kind of am more stressed than excited about it, which is why we love a succulent, because it comes, you put it down somewhere nice, and you're good to go. And the other great thing about succulents, of course, is they last much longer than flowers, and the person can keep it in their home, and um, they can just always have it for and a longer period of time. it's not that big either. So, Absolutely. Yes, it's a decent size, but it's not like... Yes, so it doesn't overwhelm. envelop a room. It can kind of go anywhere and be a great gift. And you can send this in advance though as well, right? Yes. Otherwise you can just show up with it. Or some people will deliver something. Now, like in your, um, I know you just recently started your gift concierge business and yeah. some of your gifts that you choose for people, you actually will deliver to their home, right? Absolutely. Yep, it's part of our gifting fee. So um, included is the gift wrap and delivery within 10 miles of Northwest DC. Cool. I mean, it's great. This is um, from 1-800-Flowers, so obviously it's national. You can send it anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want to show up with it, it is nice to, you know, you ship it to yourself, put a pretty ribbon around it, and it makes like Hannah said, a very easy, beautiful presentation. And we also ship all over the country and have clients California, New York, Chicago, cool. um, which is fun as well. Cool. All right, so here's our next gift, and this is kind of a dude gift, isn't it? Tell yeah. us about it's this very, one. It's very, very <laughs> dude delicious. Yeah. It's almost, yeah. So what so is this? Have, so these are called beards, B-E-E-R-D, and they are bottle openers, and they come in different... Um, Themes with little different hats, um, and this was this was just something really cute that we found that is, you know, it's it's a good conversation starter. It's something that we hadn't seen before, so we thought, and the price point was really great. Um, and as a bonus, you know, we like to add bonuses to a lot of our gifts. <laughs> if you brought a six pack of beer with one of these, yeah. and you could put this, you could either put it in cellophane or you could put it in a box yeah. um, with your six pack. And it just, it's something really cute, and everyone can always use 
a beer opener. I know I'm always trying to find my beer yes. opener. And I never I, know where they are. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so why can you why never not? find one? And then when like, you need it, you yeah. use your teeth or something, or right. a knife, and then you cut yourself. Exactly. Right? Yes. So you can't have too many of them. Right. right. No, absolutely never. not. Now, when I um, interviewed you both for this article that's going to be in next week in the Washington Post magazine, um, which is called Host and Hostess Gifts, uh, mm -hmm. we talked about what's a good way to come up with an original idea for a gift. And there were two host and hostess gifts that are ubiquitous that people keep giving. And tell us about those and why you should not give those. <laughs> well, first of all, we, we like to say a general rule of gifting is if you know the person well, you know them personally, and you know their passions and hobbies and style, you give them something that's complementary to those things. Right. And if you don't, it's kind of somebody that you know peripherally, mm -hmm. it's a coworker um, or a friend of a friend, then you can give them something that you love, um, which is always nice to share with people. Right. Now, to the two gifts that we think are a bit overdone and tired, uh, the candle. Da, 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 da. The candle. <laughs> and and, and actually, you told me that you love candles. I love candles. <laughs> um, but I feel like, you know, it's the candle and the bottle of wine. Yes. yes. And I think, I mean, everyone loves wine and everyone loves candles. I mean, who doesn't love to walk into a, someone's home with this amazing right, scent? Right, right. But I think it's just... I mean, we're in the business of coming up with really thoughtful right. and, and why, creative gifts. Why not and why not? Game. And yeah. so I think, exactly. you know, when, when you're hosting a party, you know, you have a ton of people coming over. Everyone usually brings a bottle of wine. You don't know who it's from. It gets recycled. Same with, I mean, sometimes with the candles, too. Absolutely. You don't know where it, who brought it. It could circle back to you. Exactly. <laughs> and, and so. The old gift the closet, gift, right? Yes, exactly. Same with the gift bags. Yes. yes. Um, but so, you know, while they are appreciated, I think any gift is appreciated. Yeah, sure. I just think that, you know, that's why we were trying to create this list to come up with some, maybe some more creative ideas that aren't, that won't exactly. break the budget. And, and that are, you know, something different and that, some, that a host will appreciate. I will say I think there are some exceptions to the rule. For instance, my favorite hotel in Paris is Hotel Cost, and Ashley knew that. So when she was in Paris, she brought me back a candle and the scent mm -hmm. that smells like the hotel. And that felt very personal. Yes. So there are some exceptions. Sure. There or are, or sure. if you Don't find, you like, an amazing candle, right. you know. Right, right, right. Mabuche right. means Love. gorgeous yes. candles. Yes. And, and, you know, they're, they there are candles that are beautiful and we love candles. I think that but there's, not, like, just but why not go just do something else? Now, else. this is one yeah. of my favorite things that you found. And <laughs> these are like so cheap, they're like 12 bucks for six of them or something. And I think for 12, So for 12. I think it's 12. Oh, it's for 12, yeah. Yeah. okay, so even better. So tell us about these, so, so like, these are these peel off silicone drink markers, mm -hmm. right? And what are the shapes they come in? The lips for the ladies and the mustache for the gentlemen. And we just thought these were fun. We love a good drink marker. And we especially liked these because sometimes drink markers are funny. They kind of hang off the glass or they're right. not the right shape. And these, you can put them on anything. You could put them on a champagne glass, yeah. on a tumbler, on a shot glass. You can really put them anywhere. Because some of those are for wine glasses. And, you know? they, and so many people yeah. are using and stemless you, now. Yes. So. Yeah, don't you prefer, I prefer to serve wine in all of these you know, sure. shape of glasses. I do as well. Especially I mean, any at beverage. a party because it's less likely to spill. To spill, yes. totally. And, but it, they're great for kids, too. Mm -hmm. They're fun. You can put them on kids' clothes. You know, I mean, it's just a fun little party trick. Speaking of party tricks. <laughs> okay, so this, oh, this is one of our This favorites. is a great gift. Now, tell us about this, and maybe you can open it up and this we can was, demonstrate it. Sure. This is one of the gifts Here's that we were very excited about when we discovered. Right. Because we felt like it was very original, the price point was great, um, and it was something that was just would make sense for people, but also would be a surprise. Sure. It's called the table selfie, and what it does is take a 360 photo of the table. So each person at the table will be in the photo. So you won't have the problem of doing a really <laughs> awkward selfie or just getting two people at your dinner party. And people have to get up from their chairs yeah. and like, come on, I want to Or the one from the, the very exactly. end. And then there's somebody <laughs> like me that goes, I'm not moving. Yeah. <laughs> 
Exactly. <laughs> and it's just so fun. Show, show okay. us how it works. Right, yeah. Let's see if we yeah. can <laughs> unpack, it. unpack it and figure it out. So it's actually pretty. It's made of wood. It's, it's actually wood? quite attractive. Yeah. Yes. So. Okay. So. I would think that it has to yep, be. Yeah. So you just put that in there. Yeah. And then put somehow it, it moves around. Maybe angle it be and then. The I think it, it might, might my have case to be is off the case. Yeah. Yara, do you mind if I take off your case? No. Okay. I don't okay. even know what color phone. Do I have rose gold? Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> Good choice. Okay, okay so, so then angled. it looks so naked. Then you, <laughs> you angle it up to our faces, which it is. Then you set it on the pan panorama photo yeah, mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you click your device button and turn it. Around that the is table. So cool. It's like a lazy Susan uh -huh. for your phone. Exactly. <laughs> and then you click off, and then you've got a very long. I don't know if you can see, but it basically shows around the um, oh, packaging. Oh, it's so fun. Everybody's doing a different pose, yeah. which is so cute. And Peace this is sign, like 20 cheers. bucks, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's yes. right. 20 bucks. And, this is uh, one of our favorites. So, Ashley, uh, sometimes you think it's just good to put a ribbon on a gift, right? Especially for this one, it's round. I mean, it's no hard one's, to wrap. it's an hard shape. to wrap. You're not going to put paper unless around it. Unless you put it in a gift bag. Right, unless you put it in a gift bag. But you which, guys are not so hot on gift bags. We're, we're not. Well, it's similar to the wine. It's <laughs> like the traveling gift bag. Mm -hmm. It always comes back to you. Yes. It usually comes back to you. Unless it's, it's not you know, fun a too. personalized, you know, like, cloth bag that can be reused yes. or some kind of really cool we love the bagu bags you know yes. something yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, a is a reusable bag, bag. It, i don't know it's just it we prefer to wrap our gifts okay. <laughs> so you can just stick a pretty bow on this and then tie a little gift, gift tag, tag and away you go you're good to go right all right and here Oh yeah, I Selfie love away. these i love these gifts so tell us uh. about these gift uh these cards and uh the person who makes them. We love these we as love well. These. Yeah. Um, so these are by a local artist. Um, are those the DC? These are Chesapeake, Chesapeake Bay. Bay. Um, so Chesapeake Bay are beautiful. They're beautiful. They're yeah. watercolor uh, playing cards, and she has um, she offers a, f a few different cities. Um, the company's Peeps Paper Products, and this is Washington D.C. She has Baltimore, San Francisco, New York. She even has a safari pack. Um, but and they're these, like $30, They're $30. I think, right? they're, they're just, it's mm -hmm. just one, I mean, especially for people who live in D.C. who are local. And they're good for kids it, or adults. They're great for Absolutely. anyone. I mean, who, ev everyone can always use. go to somebody's home use. by the water. Exactly. And I think she has Nantucket, home. too. Yes, yeah. Nantucket. And I, she, I think she also does custom ones, too. She, she does. does. I saw on her website she does them for brides and things. For brides, yeah. for special events, for corporations. Yeah. It's just a really lovely gift. And then we we package them, you know, we gift wrap them if, if you want. It just makes a cute little presentation. It does. Um, but these you can buy on her website or Tucker Not Chasm, too, mm -hmm. um, which is a local store. So it's just an easy, you know. Now, tell me about the gift concierge concept. How did you come up with that? And how did you girls, you know, figure out that this is what you were going to do? It's a great business. Thank you. Um, so it was something we always enjoyed. Yes. We always enjoyed giving gifts. And many of our friends and family would call upon us to gift their loved ones and mm -hmm. come up with creative ideas. Mm -hmm. And it was just something that was thoroughly enjoyable for us. And we were actually in New York. Um, at lunch with a friend, and she was asking us, "What do we? What do you do? What does your everyday mm -hmm. life look like?" And yes. just curious. And when we told her kind of what our everyday life looks like, she said, "Wow, you guys should really think about doing something creative for a living that would speak to both of you." Yeah. And we kind of put our heads together and thought, it was honestly a light bulb moment. We looked at each <laughs> other and said. Wait a second. Yeah, don't you know it when that happens? Why don't we <laughs> yes. do this? Yes. And we did. We literally, we on the train back. That's so fun. We kind of put together our idea for what the business would look like. We incorporated and we said, Fantastic. "Let's just see what happens and throw it out there." I like that. And here we are, and it's it's great. I mean, it's it's honestly filling um, a void that in a niche that just needed to be filled and people Absolutely. really need help with gifts and you know that's mm -hmm. why we asked you to help us for the washington post magazine um host and hostess gift guide because we knew that you know you know how to find the best expensive and luxurious gifts but we also know that you could find a 
you know, a great host gift for under $30. And so, Absolutely. anyway, so also Thank now you. I felt like an idiot because I'd never heard of mauled and <laughs> sea salt flakes because after I looked them up, I'm like, every cook and sort of even, you know, non-cook uses these because they're really fabulous. And you guys say We're they're obsessed. the best, right? You're yes. obsessed. And this costs like $10 for the box, right? Yes. And tell us about them. So this is our favorite song. English. <laughs> and we both absolutely love it. It seems very odd to love a salt so much. Yes, handcrafted in small batches. <laughs> yes, yes. But it, it's possible. And um, it's a great cooking salt. And it's kind of like something you use. And yeah. the world is open to you and think, I'm never going back to regular salt. And how reasonably priced for such a lovely box. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful um, and kind of chic. Oops. Oh, and there and it is. Here we go. Here we go. So then what did you put it with? So then this is just a salt cellar um, from Crate and Barrel. Uh, I mean, salt cellars are actually really trendy right now, so you can find them anywhere. But mm -hmm. we loved this one because it keeps the salt. Some of them are open, mm -hmm. and this one keeps the salt fresh. Mm -hmm. And you can just place it next to your stove. And, and it actually, when you... It is flaky. It's flaky. And so when you... <laughs> We love it. Does it dissolve? <laughs> it's just it's it's great for seasoning. It's great for yeah. cooking. We literally use it for everything. I think once you start it's using beautiful. it, like Candace said, you I, never I'm, go back. I definitely am going to get some. Yeah. Yes, you must. You or must. If you're coming to my house, please. Please, bring please. Me some. We will. The perfect right. hostess gift. Okay. For your so. And what's great too, I will say, yes. is you could just give wrap this little box you of could. salt and not even pair it with a salt cellar. And in your note, I think you could say like this is my absolute favorite. So right. they're not like why, why are, are you giving me salt? And one of the things we talked about in the article is, you know, like if you travel and you find something that you really like, like a hot yes. sauce or, you know, some kind of cheese biscuits when you're in Savannah. Mm -hmm. I mean, those are the kind of things that you might want to say, "Hey, I'm going to order a case of these." And for the holidays, you know, Write everybody a note that says, you know, these are my favorite things, right? We love that. Yes. We think that's a great idea. It's something that we do, and people really appreciate Food it. Food gifts are a good thing. Food gifts right? are great. Healthy, absolutely. And um, Candace, every year, she makes these amazing nuts mm -hmm. that she puts out at her holiday party, and she mm -hmm. also gives them to friends, too. And I love to make Chex Mix. So In if very large batches, <laughs> I will mention. <laughs> very large. <laughs> I was at a party last night, and I ate a lot of Chex Mix, and I have a feeling it was the kind that came in the bag. Okay. Oh, well, well I bet yours is so really good. good. This is it's not, amazing. but that's also another gift too. If you if you love to make something, you know, people love homemade gifts as well. So you could find a really pretty tin, or you know, do something so that people know that it's homemade. And I think and that also. And also, you should put a tag on, and it's often good to explain what it is, right? Yes, like oh, this is recipe. my grandmother's recipe. Right. Yeah, or like make it a sense of occasion and write something, right? Yes, Don't absolutely. Don't just show up with the stupid wine bag and dump it on the counter, like you said, with the other <laughs> 10 wine bags, right? Exactly. All right, no, but mine is delicious. But yeah. Mine is good, but you know, there are, there are other things. Now. These look so good that like, you just want to eat them like a lollipop, but that's not what they are, right? No. No. That is not what they are. These are hot chocolate on a stick, and it's exactly what it sounds like. You put it into your milk, I believe, mm -hmm. or hot water, and they dissolve into a very delicious hot chocolate. And we love them because, A, it makes you just think of the holidays and warming up by the fire with a hot cup of cocoa. Um, and they're just different. It's, it's something fun and cheeky. And you put these, it says, yeah, you put it into six ounces of milk. Milk. In your mug. Yes. And swirl it around. And I mean, anybody would love doing this, no matter how old you were. It's chocolate. Yeah. And it just sounds delicious. And it's, so it's by Ticket Chocolate in San Francisco. And we love a gift that also can speak to the whole family. Mm -hmm. So if somebody has young children, um, the parents don't just enjoy it. Everyone can enjoy it together. That's okay. nice. Now, Ashley, you told me about somebody who brings you a wonderful gift, I guess, every year uh, that you and your kids enjoy the next morning after a party. What is that? Yes, she brings fresh, freshly squeezed orange juice, mm. which I think is just so great. Yeah. Sometimes so great. biscuits, too. Nice. Because, you know, the last thing you want to do after hosting <laughs> is make breakfast yes. the next morning that is for like your family. family or any guests <laughs> or anyone. Yeah, exactly. That's a great idea. <laughs> so if you plan on staying late, bring a casserole or <laughs> some orange juice. Yeah, cas breakfast casserole. I mean, yes, can you yes. imagine? That you get up be, in the morning and you uh, look in the fridge and there's and something there. Just throw it in the oven? That, that sounds, sounds really amazing. Good. Maybe we should do that for somebody. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now these. Uh, 
Unfortunately, when we were photographing these for the magazine, somebody had to taste one. Unfortunately. <laughs> so it's no longer the full box here, but it's a mystery. These who are pretty did fabulous. It, right? So tell us about these. I know these I think are twenty nine dollars, which are expensive, but why? <laughs> but they're beautiful. They're they're chocolate gems. Oh look, um, they, they just glimmer. They do glimmer. Let's take one out and look at yeah. it. They are beautiful. They're really luxurious. They are. They're mm -hmm. luxury. Like, I mean, we just talked about chocolate. Who doesn't love chocolate? Mm -hmm. And it's also a perfectly sized box to wrap up, to present, to make the perfect it gift. It is. It is. And, you know, I mean. It's from Neiman Marcus. Ne it's from mm -hmm. Neiman Marcus. So you can order them online. You can yeah. pop and them And their packaging Neiman's. is really lovely, especially this holiday season. It looks really great. And this is something that I would eat at the end of the night. When I'm exhausted yeah, and everybody has left, I'll you just and you open all of the gifts that yeah, you people brought, and that you eat the candy at the end of the I night. I do. I deserve it. And the checks. You so deserve <laughs> After it. After hosting you take like off your seventy-five shoes, people, right? Exactly. Okay. So this is a kind of a cool thing. So, so this is great. This. So this is so August Morgan. Mm -hmm. They have had um, their yes. very mm -hmm. popular cocktail napkins for the past couple of years that everyone is purchasing. And mm -hmm. they, those also make a great um, hostess gift. Um, and this is uh, one of their newest items. Mm -hmm. And they are tea towels wrapped up in a cocktail shaker. And so you basically get two gifts for the price of one. Mm -hmm. It already comes with a nice little ribbon, and the card has a to and from on it. So you literally just need to perfect gift. present the gift. And it, they're really cheeky sayings. Um, and we just thought that this was such a great, you know, hostess gift. And it's kind of surprising. Like, the tea towel and the napkins have a little bit been overdone a bit. Um, but the fact that it's presented in this cocktail shaker yeah. um, is fab, and they actually have different drinks that are written across the cocktail shaker. And measurements. Shakers, and, measurements. and measurements, which is fun as well. Yeah, that one is an excellent gift. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of personalize it, like the overserved would be great for a friend that enjoys tennis. Um, make mine a double would be great for somebody that likes bugs. <laughs> <laughs> and the... Um, the twins, if you need too. twins. Yeah. Twins, that's yeah, great. So great double. idea. There you go. Yeah, and they're beautiful. The embroidery is, you can't really. It's really great it's quality. It's really nice. Now, do you think it's always appropriate to bring a host or hostess gift if you're, if you're invited to somebody's house, even if it's just for a cocktail party? Should you bring something? It can't hurt. It's, it can't. I mean, it's so nice when you receive a gift, especially if it's unexpected. And I found that sometimes the, the, those are the nicest Yes, surprise because it's a surprise yeah and you know anyone who hosts they're going to a lot of trouble to open up their home it takes a lot of work mm -hmm. so at least even if it's you know the smallest thing it just shows the host that you appreciate that they're opening up their home to you and you know and that you're thank you're thankful for being invited to their home so Having i think said that that yeah. though if somebody doesn't bring a gift we're not like Ooh, um, just a warm felt thank you, even eye contact and saying thank you so much for having me. Right, right. Um, and not scurrying out right. is, is really nice. Or a thank you note sure. following up after the party yes. is always lovely. Yes. Just a handwritten thank you note, not an email. Although emails are fine too. <laughs> or text. Or text. Yes. <laughs> All right, so these bowls. You found these these dessert bowls, and they really are lovely. Why don't you hold one up so I can see the uh, inside? Yeah, we thought these were beautiful. Um, they're obviously kind of jewel tones, and, just and they're all very gold festive. right on the outside. And what's great is you could use these as you know ice cream bowls, or you could put them out for nuts if you're you know when you are hosting a party. You know, they they can they have multi. <laughs> Use and I think they're like four for thirty dollars or something yeah. like the that. Price the price point on these is, is, yeah, I think is they're beautiful. amazing, and they're very well made. It's a, a family business that makes them, and we just thought Yeti. they were beautiful. They're gorgeous. Yeah. The other thing I was thinking, you know, again, if you're you know low on funds, you could take one of these and put some chocolates in it and wrap it up and just give somebody one, right? Because it's like Absolutely. an hors d'oeuvre dish. Totally. Absolutely. Fill them with nuts or your homemade Chex Mix. For your yeah. favorite ice cream, a little pint of your favorite ice cream. Yeah, they're very, very, very versatile. What do you think, uh, you know, guys often don't know what to bring as a host to gift, right? 
Right. Like they just may show up. Maybe, I mean, the beer thing would be good for them. Yes. The six mm -hmm. pack and the. Uh, yes, absolutely. And, you know, they're a little less likely to go buy a gift, right? And that's okay. They're forgiven. Yeah. If a man forgiven. comes alone, you just think, think, thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> and getting exactly. dressed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not wearing sweatpants. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So. Here's another food gift. So mm -hmm. tell us about this. This is from like a farm, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, in, is it Vermont? Let's see. Greenville, New York. Must be New upstate York, New, New York. York. That's yes, right. it is. It is upstate New York. Yeah. And it's this called goes Finding on, Home. Yeah, Finding Home. Mm -hmm. And this kind of goes along with the orange juice biscuits. Absolutely. You know, if someone brings you this and you're hosting a party, the next morning, you if you're very tired, to have you know, pancake mix to go to and maple syrup, it's already it's there. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. And who doesn't love pancakes any time of year? Yeah, absolutely. I even think, you know, on this note, if you find a fabulous maple syrup that you love, yeah. again, even this as a standalone gift um, yes. would be lovely. It would. Because it's lovely. real maple syrup. It's not just like Fructose. Yes, yes, that's one of my pet store. peeves. Yeah. When you go to a restaurant and they bring you not real maple mm -hmm. syrup. And you know it's more expensive, so that's why they don't. But So that's why at home it's a treat, it's, it's, excuse me. Oh, absolutely. You know, to use it. So, um, you know, if you have some real stuff, it's nice for the holidays. Definitely. Yes, absolutely. Now, this, I love this ornament. You found this in uh, from a New Orleans artist, right? Yes. You want to hold that up? We love these. Um, these are just super cool ornaments from an artist in New Orleans, as you mentioned. Her name is Logan Ledford. Um, she's a young artist that does this type of work with acrylic paint. She has a specific um, kind of, uh, she made up her own way to do this, and it involves paper, and it's very and well porcelain. thought out. Yeah. And porcelain, and we I'm just think it's beautiful. One. Each one is each different. Each one is right? different. Yes, and each, each one is completely one different. Totally different. Mm -hmm. And they're just so cool and chic and sophisticated. And and they come in their own gift box. They come in their own yeah, gift box. Yeah, we love this gift box yeah. with the little, um, her gift box is pretty cheeky as a little tassel mm -hmm. um, and her signature. And it's just fun and unexpected. It's always nice to support young artists as well. And so we yeah, love these. Yeah, I think that's really nice. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so yeah, I love these placemats. I think um, mm -hmm. yes, I would love to great. get these. Us too. Yeah. yeah, so tell us about these, yeah. In fact. So these are um, by Hester and Cook, and it's actually a pad of placemats, which is great. I think it comes in a set of 50. I was looking. I think it's I think 50 it's 30 well. paper placemats okay. made of recycled paper. Mm hmm and I think it's uh, like $29 or $30 for the whole pad. Yes. And they also have lots of really great um, other, prints. other prints. Oh, absolutely. Um, this was just great for the this holidays. Is so pretty. It's so pretty. It goes on, you know, and it's always nice to layer a table too. And also, if mm -hmm. you are hosting a dinner and want a quick and easy cleanup, sometimes it's nice to just be able to. Right. Or you absolutely. know what? If you had like the white tablecloth out for a holiday meal and then you want to serve breakfast, sure. You put these put those out down. and actually it would protect your tablecloth possibly. Exactly. Yes. And then you could Great for families out. as well with children spilling everything everywhere. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> They're very helpful. So here's our last item, and this item is actually more than $30. It's the only one. It is. And it's something like $64 or $60. Anyway, tell it's us about it. It's less than $75. It's less than $75. It's made yes. in India. Mm -hmm. um, and it cleans with a damp cloth, but I guess it's made of marble and acacia wood, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And why did you like this? I, I love it. Well, pineapples are a symbol of hospitality um, and welcoming somebody into your home. So we love that little play on that idea. And it's beautiful. I mean, it's so well made. It's very versatile. You can use it for cheese. You can use it for hors d'oeuvres. Um, it's just a great piece. It's from Anthropology. Um, so many people have that locally in their towns, but also available online. And yeah, I mean, I think that cheese boards always make a great gift because if, if you are hosting, most likely you're putting out cheese at some point. Yeah, I do a cheese board for almost for every, party. every party. And my husband always says, let me guess, you're doing another cheese board. 
but it's just so and then and this what's great is that because of the size you know if you're hosting a party and people are meandering around your house mm -hmm. it's a little bit smaller so if you wanted to put it in another room you, know, you could just have like you know a little piece of cheese crackers and some nuts or something in another area because it, it does it is a little bit smaller than most of like the larger cheese boards so I think this is the last gift that we have and I have a quick question before we wrap this up sure. literally uh, <laughs> when should you open your host or hostess gifts should you do it like you know if people are sitting around sort of at the end of the party or you know should you wait till they leave and then do it or should you wait till the next morning or well what's the deal do some people want you to open it in front of them some people some people do that. and they ask yes okay and so, so and then, then you and then you I do want it. you to sure. open this now uh -huh. yes open it now because they're excited because they're they picked very it up. excited but what do you think in general I think it really depends. I mean, in general, well, if you're Candace and you want to eat the chocolates at the end of the night <laughs> after your party, then you go through at the end of the night. You wait. But I think that most of the times, you, you know, when you're hosting, you're so tired that at the end of the night, you most likely will fall into bed, so it doesn't happen until the next morning. So it's like a treat the next it is a, It is a treat. Yeah. And do you have to thank people for them? I think if someone gives you something that is really thoughtful yeah. or that goes the extra mile it doesn't hurt to and even if you wanted to send them a text just and say text them. yeah yeah wow that was a really cool yeah. gift we'll take or I just seconds. yeah or we we just ate the pancakes and maple yeah, syrup yeah, yeah, yeah. it was and so they delicious were thoughtful and you're being thoughtful right of exactly course. yes so um so anyway thank you so much thank, thank you, you. this and is Ashley so from secretly gifting oh, and yes. We've really enjoyed um, having you on and talking about all your choices. And uh, on Monday, you all can see all of these gifts and figure out where they're from and how much they cost. Uh, they'll be posted online at WashingtonPost.com. And next, uh, a week from Sunday, they will be in the Washington Post Sunday Magazine. So you can see your other outfits that you wore, your festive <laughs> outfits. <laughs> Uh, because the girls from Secretly Gifting, they really rise to the occasion. So anyway, thank Thanks, you so Sarah. much for being us, with us today on Facebook Live. Thank Happy you. holidays. Thank you. Thank you.